Welcome to this guide on how to register learners on the Verve platform. In this video, we'll walk you through the steps to efficiently register your learners. First, navigate to the Register Learners tab. Here, you can select the program title. For the purposes of this demo, we'll register a learner for the first aid qualification. Enter the keywords or program code and choose whether it's a qualification, single unit, or multi-unit award. Next, click Find Programs. This displays a list of qualifications your centre is approved to deliver, as well as those in our database matching those keywords. You can only select qualifications for which your centre is approved, indicated by the icon and by its approval status in red or in green. Next, select the desired qualification. For the purposes of the video, let's select the Level 3 award in First Aid at Work and click the Proceed with this program button. This brings you to the booking detail screen, where you firstly would select your delivery method. For this demo, we will choose classroom delivery. Next, we will select our assessor and internal quality assurer, also known as our IQA. Remember, the IQA cannot be the same as the assessor, as the IQA cannot assess their own work. Our assessor for the purposes of this video will be John Lennon, and our IQA will be Eli Loker. You will be able to search by typing their name to find the assessment staff member you'd like, or you can also scroll through the drop-down list. At the bottom of this drop-down list, you'll see an option to create a new assessor. However, if you cannot find the assessment staff member on this list, please see our How to Add Edit Assessment Staff video. A link to this video is available in the description of this video. This will explain as to why sometimes your assessment staff member does not appear on this list. There is an additional person involved as a trainer only who isn't an assessor or IQA for the qualification. Indicate this by selecting yes and typing the name. Otherwise, leave it as no. You can also enter an optional centre booking reference for internal tracking. For the purposes of this video, I will enter this as first aid demo. Once the booking is confirmed, this will generate a booking reference number, which is to be used for any future inquiries. Next, you will need to enter the start and assessment dates. These fields are not usually mandatory, but for the first aid qualification, these are mandatory, as it is a timed qualification and expires after three years of the assessment date. For the purposes of this video, as this is a three-day course, we will start the course on July 2nd and set the assessment date to July 4th. When the certificate prints, it will say that these learners have three years from the date listed here in which their certificate is valid. Before you proceed, please make sure you review all the details. Once you're happy with everything, then click Proceed. This will bring you to the learner registration screen. Here you will enter the learner's details. It might seem like a lot of information is required, but you only need to fill in the fields marked with an asterisk. Enter the learner's full name. If the learner has a middle name that they want on the certificate, include it in the forename or surname fields, since the middle name field does not print on the certificate. For example, if the learner's name is Chris Gawain Blackburn, enter Gawain Blackburn in the surname field. If you enter incorrect details and need to make a change after registration, you will need to get in touch with us and we can make that change for you. However, once the learner has been claimed, if changes are needed, this will be subject to a reprint fee of £30 plus VAT or the registration cost, whichever is lower. For international learners, update the country field accordingly. This field is important for sampling purposes so please ensure that the correct details are recorded. Once satisfied with the details, click Save and Add Learner. The learner will now appear in the list, ready to be booked onto the course. For returning learners, save time by selecting them from Select Existing Learners tab. Search for their name and add them directly to the course. This is useful if a learner has previously completed a course with you and is now enrolling in a new one. The learner will now appear in the registration list at the bottom of the screen. If a learner has been added by mistake, click the X next to the learner's name to remove them from the booking. Note that after clicking proceed, the learner cannot be removed. 
so double check everything before proceeding. If handling a large group of learners, consider a bulk upload. Click Import CSV file and follow the provided steps. First, download the empty CSV template, then fill in the necessary information. Required fields will be marked with an asterisk on the template. The ID field is a toggle, so enter the number 1 to indicate that the ID has been seen, which will activate the toggle. Save the file in its original .csv format, as other extensions will not work. Upload the completed template back into the system. The system will indicate any errors and pull existing records where possible. Ensure all learners are correct and haven't been duplicated. If a bulk upload does not pull through a learner, add them manually to save time and avoid errors. Once satisfied with the learners ready to be booked, click Proceed to go to the summary screen. Here you can review program details, delivery method and learner information. Ensure the Go Paperless box is correctly selected or deselected based on the preference. Remember, hard copies incur a £2 surcharge and to order a hard copy after the learner has been certified as paperless, this will be subjected to a charge of £30 plus VAT or the cost of registration, whichever is lower. Next, select your payment method. You can pay by debit and credit card for immediate confirmation, request an invoice, or use prepaid licenses if available. Note that registrations are only confirmed once payment is processed, which can take two to five working days for the pay by invoice method. Note that payment methods cannot be split within a booking. For instance, if selecting pay monthly, all learners in the booking must be paid using this method. If you wish to pay by license, ensure there are enough licenses to cover all learners on the booking. If not, consider making a separate booking for each learner with different payment methods. For this demonstration, we will select pay monthly and enter a test purchase order number. Click proceed to complete the registration, ensuring all sections are green, indicating successful registration. If everything is green, it means all learners are automatically registered. Any section is red, it means the learners are not registered until the red section has been actioned and then turned green. If it's a staff approval issue, the booking is awaiting staff approval, which will be reviewed by our quality team. They will contact the quality contact for your centre, listed under the centre profile tab, to inform you of any evidence needed for approval. If it is red due to registration fees, once these fees are paid, the learners will show as registered. Thank you for watching this guide on how to register learners on the Verve platform. By following these steps, you will streamline the registration process and ensure accurate records. If you have any further questions, please get in touch with us and thank you for choosing Training Qualifications UK.